In this video, you'll learn how to design a full denture in Dental System. After you have scanned models with a wax rim, you'll move to the design step in Dental Designer. At first, we need to define the occlusal plane with the help of three control points. Keep in mind that placing the second point defines the direction of the front teeth. If the middle line wasn't defined by the dentist, you can verify this yourself. Make the lower model less visible and place the occlusal plane in relation to the palatal suture. Click Next when finished. Place the characteristic points. Start with the maxillary points. Select the tuberosity. Next, the incisive papilla, the second tuberosity and the two canine points. Now, let's select the mandibular points. Start with three points for the retromolar. Center, buccal and lingual. Then comes the central ridge, another three points for the second retromolar, center, buccal, and lingual, and two points for the canines. The position of the canine points determines the teeth library selection. Therefore, they should be placed on the model in such a way as to coincide with the lines arranged by the dentist. When you're ready, click Next. Select the Draw Outline button, and then use the pencil to draw the line for the upper jaw. You can do this in two ways, either by placing points one by one or holding the mouse button and drawing the line simultaneously. There are a few more options here, which you can use to modify a previously drawn outline. You can move separate points to the new position. You can add a new point. You can use the fast edit spline and easily reposition the outline. And finally, you can remove a point or delete the whole spline. Use the local cross-section tool in case it's not easy to define where the outline should be placed. Now do a similar procedure for the lower jaw. When you have the outlines marked, click Next. Moving on to the surveying and blocking out step. The software will calculate the proposition for the insertion direction showing also the undercuts on the model. If you're going to make a try indenture, you might need to block out any undercuts with the help of wax for the upper jaw and next the lower jaw. You can skip this option if this is something that you don't need. Further on is the full denture design step. On the bottom of the page, you've got a large view showing the preview from teeth libraries. Choose the library you prefer and click the Apply button to save the changes. At this point, use the tools which will help you with the design. You can work with the symmetric mode, where adjusting one tooth will reflect on the same tooth in the opposite side of the arch. Enable the Occlusion Map slider to view the distance between the neighboring teeth, as well as the distance for upper and lower jaws. You can use the Individual Transformation tool and rotate one tooth or two tooth at the same time, whenever you check the Symmetric Design option here. If you are happy with your design, you can click Next and move further to create denture bases. In this step, you have the possibility to define the material settings and aesthetic settings for the denture base. To shape the gingiva more accurately, use Gingiva Aesthetics. Select the template of the gingiva you want and either leave the default settings or change using the custom settings. To generate the design, choose the Preview button. After that, you can move to the Mandibular Base sub-step. Do the same as before for the lower jaw and click Next to move further when finished. At the Sculpt Denture Base sub-step, you can add more material near the cervical area or on the palatal suture and smooth the surface if necessary. In the pre-manufacturing sub-step, you can predefine the process type and other settings for the final restoration if you're working on the denture with teeth in a block. You can also preview these settings by clicking on the Preview button. This step will not be available when you work on monoblock cases since they don't have separated teeth from the denture base. In the Save step, you'll see the final design. Now you can close Dental Designer and send the restoration for production. You've now learned how to design a full denture in dental system.
To learn more, we do recommend watching other videos suggested in the description box. We hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.